Hello. It is not fun when rubber bursts. And it doesn't matter what rubber we are talking about. Last week I was highway cruising when suddenly this lamp lit up, letting me know that I was losing coolant. Called for towing and got safely home thanks to CAA. This is the heater hose that burst. The question is, did it burst because of age or excessive pressure in the cooling system? Let's find out. A radiator cap that sits on top of the radiator or at the overflow tank is responsible for keeping pressure in check. If it doesn't relieve over the limit pressure, then something will go south. Any of the rubber hoses, or even worse, the head gasket. This one is designed to open at about 11 psi. How can we check this? Easy. A tire compressor with the gauge and an old overflow tank. Ports are blocked and a hole is drilled to accommodate a simple tire valve. Let's screw on our suspect and hook up the pressure hose. Press play, listen and watch. The valve inside the cap opens and closes at around 11.5 psi. It works and goes back to service. Simple do-it-yourself tool. Since we are at the cooling system, let's check if the electric fan operates as it should. I disconnect leads from the thermal switch that sits on the radiator. I will short the circuit with a piece of solid copper wire. It's alive! The fan is powered through this relay. The relay clicks when it gets a signal from the pressure switch in the AC system or from the thermal switch. In my case, I can run the test without keys in the ignition. In other models, the relay is energized by the computer that gets the signal from the thermal switch. In such a case, the test should be done with the running engine. This way we can only check the fan and the relay. To see if the thermal switch is operational, we should pull it from the radiator and put it into boiling water to see if it closes. <laughs> 